All right, so my last video is taking some time to get processed by YouTube. Uh, it's uploaded, it's there, but it's being processed by YouTube and it's been taking hours. I don't even know if it'll be done tonight. So I decided to go ahead and make a quick video here. Uh, we've been talking about praise a lot, and I want to talk about how praise is not useful, it's not effective for the life of a Christian unless a Christian is a Christian meaning that you are worshiping God. Now, you say, worshiping God, okay, well, how's worship different than praise? Well, let's look at Romans 12, 1, and um, 1 and 2. And the root word, there's translations done for that in both the precise and the common English. So I'll read the common English. So it says, accordingly, I call alongside you, brothers, through the pity of God, the compassion of God, to stand your bodies beside as a living sacrifice, terrifyingly clean, agreeable to God, as your reasonable ministry to God. You want to know what your ministry to God is? This is your ministry to God. What he's describing here is your ministry to God. This is worship. Verse 2, And not to fashion yourself like in figure similar to to that age, but becoming one amidst the shape that is into the freshening up of your mind, into your proving of what the determination of God is, the good and fully agreeable and complete determination. So, no half-hearted determination. No, well, I agree with this part, but not that part, determination. You're proving the determination of God, the fully agreeable and complete determination of God. And that's what you're doing. When you're becoming, it says, becoming one amidst the shape that is into the freshening up of your mind. Okay, the freshening up of your mind. Into your proving. Into your proving. So that all that's happening to move you into your proving of what the determination of God is. What is the will of God? The good and fully agreeable and complete determination. What has he determined? And that's what you're proving. Accordingly, I call alongside you, brothers, through the pity of God, to stand your bodies, not, not like, oh, I agree in my mind, not like I agree in my heart. It says to stand your bodies, your physical bodies, beside as a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. You could be doing what you want to do, but you're not doing that. You could be governing your own life. You could be choosing to do this or that or the other thing, but you're not doing that. I could be a famous astrophysicist, but I'm not doing that. I could be a famous country western singer. I got a contract offered to me. I'm not doing that. I'm living a sacrifice to God as a living sacrifice. Stand your bodies beside as a living sacrifice, terrifyingly clean, agreeable to God. Agreeable. Quit fighting. Be agreeable to God. Quit nitpicking and arguing and trying to get as close to the curb as you can. Be completely agreeable to God. This is worship. These two verses capture worship. Go to the rootedword.com, choose a book Romans, and then click on the tab Common English, and then scroll down to chapter 12. You'll find verses 1 and verses 2. May the Lord bless you as you seek Him with all your heart.